That's when it's my favorite. It makes sure I's doing good. Does it now? Half price if you buy two. Wow. You again? Is this your store? <laughs> no, my father's. How much? Eight hundred rupees, please. Eight hundred rupees. Okay, okay for you. Five fifty. Incredible. So, does your father usually leave you here alone? No, he's away fighting the devils. Well, the Indian Army called him up, did they? No, he volunteered. Really? Well, if it was my choice, I wouldn't leave you here alone. All right. That's three hundred. Better deal. Four hundred rupees plus Ganesh. <laughs> you don't want this. It's broken. See? You don't know the story. Ganesh fought Parashuram while standing guard at his father's door. Yes, to defend the honor of his father, Shiva, and got his tusk hacked off for his troubles. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, it's not for sale. <sighs> right on time. Okay, look, six hundred rupees. You can keep the change. Hey, wait! Hey! You need the guide. Oh, and what'll that cost me? <laughs> my sister needs me. How am I supposed to get up tonight's process? Excuse me. Uh -huh. What? Don't get me wrong. Decent technique on the lift. But I'd like my Ganesh back, please. <sighs> Fine. A for effort, kid. People aren't allowed across the bridge. It's too dangerous. Listen, kid. It's been really fun. You need to make yourself scarce. I have a spare bed in the store. Three hundred rupees. Best deal in all of India. Ah. Okay. No thanks. I need to get on this truck. Bad idea. The rebels. They hurt people. Listen, I need to help my friend, okay? Tell you what, when I get back, pizza's on me. Deal? Deal.
Hey, hold on. What's your rush? How do I know you're not smuggling something in here? Arms up. Hey. It's dangerous to be out so late. Hey. Where do you live? What are you, deaf? Answer him. I said, where do you live? I'm in the middle of something. You can wait. Uh, yes, sir. Meet me inside. Understood. You, with me. Man the gun. Sir, what about her? Just let her through. You heard him. Get going. You can have that bottle of coconut at that. I might. What is it worth to you? My eternal gratitude. Not good enough. Where the hell did you get a bottle of a rock anyway? Down the street from here. This one guy had a large collection. Okay. There's any luck? I only took two bottles. I'm going over later. Great timing. Pink Lotus. The hell does that mean? two targets. One was the warehouse, the other... You're in the wrong place, girl. What the hell? To relax. You'll live longer. Relax? It took me weeks to track down a soft. The man's as unpredictable as they come. He's just another warmonger with no war to fight. No, you don't know him like I do. He changes location and routines by the hour. We'd be foolish to take unnecessary risks. We? Let's get one thing straight. This is my gig. You want your share? We play by my rules. What's it going to be?
He's the one with the beard. That's the spirit. Mm. Handsome. If you're into psychopaths. Nobody's perfect. Where's base camp? Top floor balcony. All right. Let's do this. So just take a moment. There's one. Oh, that works. Let's find that disc. Thank you very much. Watch our backs, yeah? Yeah. Not for long. What was that map? Western Ghats, Westla territory. Shit. No, it's all right. Nothing we didn't already know. Careful, brothers. This tiger's got claws. A soft. Oh, all these years. And you haven't aged a day. You too can't. <laughs> Are you looking for work? I hear that Shoreline's under new management. Temporary setback. Nothing I can't handle. Of course, of course. Pity, though. My men and I could use someone of your caliber. Why are you here? I mean, this... This isn't your area of expertise. It, it is a nice collection, I must say. Chloe Fraser. Collector of antiquities. A thief... You're working for a thief. Sir, we have a situation. <gasps> what? I'll be right there. The disc. Oh, right. About that. At first, I mistook you for just an average rebel. But you have managed to find the Hoysala Empire. That's not bad. Their greatest treasure, the Tusk of Ganesh. Now that's not an easy find. What are you doing? Three Persian invasions, three separate wars, and all these years later, no one has found it. We're close. You're lost. And the only chance you have of even narrowing down its location is to find someone who can help you crack this artifact. Someone with an extensive knowledge of Hoysala society. Exactly. Mm. An expert in their culture and history. My rates are reasonable. A parasite who exploits our struggle in order to fatten her pockets. Hmm. So that's a no? Felt like a no. <laughs> You've got balls. I like that. But I don't need any more so-called experts. Shoot them. Throw their bodies in the river. No need. We'll throw ourselves out. <laughs> Hold me! Through the window! 
was that back there? Messy but effective. You were going to sell me out, weren't you? It's called improvisation. God, who's being unprofessional now? What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means you let Asav get the jump on us. I'm starting to wonder whether you're worth the 50%. I knew it. You were going to give me up. I guess a leopard can't change her spots. You know nothing about me. Fair warning. Last person who betrayed me wound up dead. There's your river. Yeah? And your guy better be there. Shit! Yeah, well, time to go. Come on! Leave us just below. Schedule. Should hit land in about an hour. Great. The tusk of Ganesh. No wonder the whole solar capital was ransacked. Look at this thing. Any luck? I don't need luck. I'd say we can use all the luck we can get. Are you still hung up on Asav's so-called expert? Don't worry. But if Asav's not in the gets already, he'll be right on our heels. Plus, he's got weapons, transport, hundreds of men... I said, don't worry. <gasps> Looks like some kind of key. Maybe. Let's see. Okay. The trident was Ganesh's weapon. The bow and arrow was Parashurama's. And the axe... The great battle. What? The battle in which Ganesh lost his tusk. I bet we find these symbols. We find the tusk. Not bad, Fraser. Yeah, well. You like my dad for that. Hindu myths were his thing. Might have rubbed off. You must be proud. Sun's almost up. I'll go get ready. Nice work. go to settle an argument. Just for my peace of mind, all right? <laughs> well, nice view. And look. How weird. I'm sorry I doubted you, Chloe. The Hoysala? Hoysala. It's not a modern structure, so we're definitely on the right track. What? I don't like it. You don't like anything? No. We've gone nearly a hundred kilometers with no sign of a sov. Glass half full, maybe we got the jump on them. Unlikely. I'll find the tusk. A salve's on you. Understood. Meet you back at the car. The old capitals. What have we got? Halabadu and Balor. I thought these were Ganesh and Shiva. Hmm. Someone's been paying attention. Ganesh was the guardian of Halabadu, the newer of the Hoysala capitals. Shiva was the guardian of the former capital, Balor. 
Well, the stonework is beautiful. But this isn't much of a defensive wall. Mm, sculptor's quarters, by the look of it. We're still on the outskirts. Didn't take you for an archaeologist. That would be my dad, actually. I'm just a thief, remember? Hey. Is the rental equipped for the winch? Looks that way. Oh, great. I'll make short work of these gates. What, you're just going to pull them down? That's the plan. Unless you bought dynamite. This is your gig. Take that as a no. Stop! Assault. Well, well spotted. Shit. He's brought a whole battalion with him. Might even be more inside already. Hey, I'm flattered that he's taking us so seriously. We need to get through that gate. All right, we'll slow down. We've got to take care of these jokers first. You have a plan? Yeah. Okay. You did it. You are damn right, I did. Oh, come on. Looks like we're going under. I do. Here we go. Well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient porcelain jigsaw puzzle? Ah, of course. I'm making a trident. It's Ganesh. Hello, sir. Now what? Now, I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. You think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a grenade, I know it's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. <laughs> Did you hear that? You feel that? Teresa, mm -hmm. mm. huh? look at that. Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learned a lot. Hoysalar Empire was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go digging for treasure, I better make a buck or two. Oh, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business? Mm. Made a real mess of it. Well, you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? That fort embedded in the mountain is worth a look. And definitely that fort in the lake bed. Right. Let's turn the water on. Well, well, what's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something. You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. Here we go. Mm -hmm. I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. 
Another waterfall. Yeah. Two out of three now. Marcelo went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand, on the outskirts of Halibadu. That's... pretty funny. And the last fort's resting in the lake bed. So that's the one with the bow. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. Oh, shit. See, I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. Here we go. Could there be water? Now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? My partner tends my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with a bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and are asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. What the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want Asav to get ahead of us. Suppose it takes to call something like this? Years. Decades even. Ahoy Salah certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. Their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know yet. But, I'm guessing, we should give that a try. We dance. Try not to break it this time. Sassy. <laughs> Welcome to 
downtown Halabadu. Last known resting place, Tusk Ganesh. Spectacular. Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? Must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Mm. Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. Bet that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late. Look, I'm... Oh, oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Halibadu? Worth it? Impressive. Yeah. No. Oh. Oh. How do we get off this thing? Well, this device looks familiar. Let's hope it doesn't turn on the water. Oh. Well, that's different. What is all this? If I had a guess, I'd say it's some kind of lock mechanism to open. That door. Okay, on the left, we have Shiva gifting Parashurama the axe. And on the right, we have Parashurama chopping off Ganesha's tusk. Wait, with the axe? Yeah. The one that Shiva, Ganesha's father, gave to Parashurama? Yeah. <laughs> That's messed up. That's family. Come on, let's see about opening that door. I think that's it. You did it. The door's open. All of the day is well. Salah and the tiger. Here we go. Fingers crossed. That's supposed to happen? Don't know. Just don't get us killed. You're no fun. Ready? Ooh. Careful. Mm. Amazing. What a shiver. Mm, my thoughts exactly. Oh no, no, it's okay. I think we're gonna be okay. Okay? Where the hell's the tusk? I don't know, none of this makes any sense. Yeah, it does. The Hoysala sent us on a fool's errand. I think you're right. Terrific. No, hear me out. Ganesh is the symbol of... Halabadu. And Shiva, that's the symbol of... Below. Which was the old... The old capital. Exactly. What if the king built this spectacular city, and it was a wonderful target for the Persians? 
and the old capital was forgotten. So this whole city was a decoy. What if they let it get plundered to protect Balor? And their treasure. I'm wanting to bet the tusk was never here at all. So where's Balor? Oh, shit. This is definitely not supposed to happen. It's coming loose. Oh. Grab the edge, quick! Me if I'm wrong, but wasn't there a huge waterfall here? There was. What the hell is that? Aqueducts. <laughs> the water's channeling there from the falls. Amazing. Did we do this just now? Well. Technically, I did. Cocky. <laughs> Look, uh, sorry if I cut you close to the bone back there. Oh. That's all right. You know, you two would have got on like a house on fire. He was also a really stubborn dickhead. <laughs> None of this could have possibly gone unnoticed. We should probably get out of here. Good point. Follow me. Right. Oh. We're not in the line of fire. Well, hopefully there's another way out. That thing carved on the floor. What do you suppose it is? Nothing good. See those channels? Doubt they were meant for water. Oh. Up here. I think there's a way through. <coughs> Up here. There's a breach. Massive. 
My man worked for a week and turned up nothing. They probably hired the wrong expert. Perhaps. You know, a Hoysala poet once wrote of a young king who showed mercy and thus ended our rituals. But the old kings, they understood that progress demands sacrifice. <laughs> Is that what you tell your men? of war, these aqueducts, they would run red through the capital. Those who would not fight had to be used to inspire those who would. Yourself? A little, yeah. Come on. You see, to rule a people, you must first sow chaos. Wait. I will incite my civil war, stamp out the weak bloodline of the young king, starting with you. Fraser! <laughs> Take it easy. We've been out for almost half an hour. Half an hour? Yeah. Oh, shit. <sighs> shit, the Sarv's got the disc. Just hang on. Oh, we gotta get going. Hey, relax, <sighs> all right? Think you can manage? Yeah, I've had worse nights, believe me. <laughs> I won't ask. <laughs> it's good to have you back. There's... There's two of you now, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go and get our disc. And some guns. And some guns. Shiva's gatekeeper. That's got to be the entrance to the old capital. It had to be triggered by the aqueducts. Yep. Ah, shit. Asov's already heading inside. Okay, well, better get down there. Come on. No. What do you mean, no? Same Drake. He's a goddamn expert. It's same Drake. Yeah. Peace. You know what? This is a good thing. I can kill two birds with one stone. Nadine. What? What? Sam's kind of the reason why we're here in the first place. Oh, you better be joking. This was my deal. <gasps> Sam went ahead to do recon oh, for me on the disc, but then he went missing and I couldn't leave You knew him my history dead. with Sam and then you dragged me into this anyway? Your history with the Saab made you the obvious... <laughs> oh. 
Don't hold back or anything. Oh, I did. You know what, Nadine? It doesn't change anything. You'll still get your share. Yeah? Or maybe you and Sam will cut me out as soon as you get the task. Come on, man, that's not how I operate. That's exactly how your type operates. And to think I trusted you. Listen, I was going to tell you about Sam. I swear I was just waiting for the right time to... It's fine. I, I could use the exercise. That's it. We're clear. <laughs> Welcome. You lied to my face. I didn't lie. I just left out the part about Sam. <laughs> Incredible. Look, Asav is getting a head start, and we need to hurry. We? Oh, shit. <sighs> Look, I... Spit it out! Okay. Cards on the table. I need your help. Should have thought of that before. And if you want the tusk, you need mine. Look, I screwed up, okay? This is your idea of an apology. Well, if it helps to keep your head in the game, then sure. Listen, we both have something to lose here. Am I right? Just so we're clear, my priority's the task. Not Sam Drake, and certainly not you. Fair enough. What are you doing? Making sure we're not followed. Huh. That's a good idea. She's wounded. Those explosions we heard must have triggered the collapse. Easy, girl. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. <clears throat> Sorry, girl. We're gonna get you out. some of this? Here you go. Mm. 
Look, I am. Um, I'm not very good at the whole people thing. You're a selfish dickhead. Yeah. You're right. I am a selfish dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to hear you say it. <laughs> well, did you hear that, Dad? I did get something from you after all. What happened with your father? He was the guy that couldn't walk away. The Ministry of Culture offered to finance one more of his expeditions. Because this time he said he was onto something big. <laughs> he was always onto something big. But bandits raided his camp and um, local authorities found him weeks later. And this stupid thing is all I have left of him. I'm sorry. Oh, hey. <laughs> he certainly made his choice. So? Listen, Fraser. You don't have to... Oh! It's a jury. Charging, I think. Tell it to stop! Because I speak elephant. Stressed. Hey, about the whole Sam. Uh, look, I get it. All right. I've got my own shit to sort out as well. Let's not have that stand in the way anymore, eh? It's not every day you get to see a totally hidden city that nobody else has seen for centuries. Apart from the south. Apart from the south. And a few of his men. And a few of his men. You ready? You just totally crushed that moment. You know that, right? Look at this. It's incredible. It's an altar of some kind. Looks like the king suffered dearly for their people. They weren't just protecting the tusk. Historians believe that it was a symbol of power and dominance, but I reckon they misunderstood. It was a symbol of their people, their culture. It was a symbol of them. What sort of this? Something big, all right. Oh, I didn't that 
stupid bastard tell me? You said it yourself. He wanted to keep you safe. Sav get that task. No. No, we can't. Thank you. Thank me after we get out of this alive. <laughs> Fair point. Okay. Easy does it. Now. What? I've got water in my ears. I hate that. I wouldn't give her a towel. <sighs> My god. Are you seeing this? You know, at this point, I've run out of words. Holy <gasps> goddamn shit. That's what? quite the fall. You had me worried. Come. It's time for a reunion. He wouldn't give you up, despite my efforts to persuade him. Sam! Jesus. Hey, you made it. Dude. It's all right. He is like a girl. Is that right? How about we get these cuffs off and I'll show you how girls hit? What the hell is she doing here? You said find help, I got help. Yeah. I must admit, you are quite the schemer. First you steal my disc, then you have your expert run me around in circles, huh? <laughs> That's clever. Perhaps there's a little Indian blood in you after all. Let's finish what we started. All right, all right. <laughs> so, Nadine Ross. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I was gonna say, you look good. Was I not clear? What's that smell? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't exactly had access to running water and soap recently. All the people you could have brought with you. <laughs> she saved my ass more than once, you know. You do remember that uh, she also tried to kill Nathan and I many, many times. And to be fair, you two tried to do the same to her. Uh, yeah, but that, that's not the point. The point is that the second we turn our backs, there will be a knife in there. I can hear every word you're saying. I know! I trust her. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I guess I'm just a little bit irked that we are walking away with nothing. But I guess you know what that's like, right? <laughs> oh. oh, my. Real classy, thank you. Time and place, children. More that came from. Bike racks after school. Ugh. Just hurry up!
It appears the kings have one final test. Looks like you won't be needing us, though, so we'll just be on our oh, On the contrary. Surely you know the story. <laughs> you see, Shiva gave Parashuram the mighty axe that struck Ganesh in the face, bringing Shiva's son, one of the greatest of the gods, to his knees. Another casualty of war. Don't. Hey, seriously, Chloe, he's just gonna kill him. He's right. But if you refuse, you will watch them die, inch by inch. All right! <laughs> Chloe, don't! Unexpected. Holy shit, she's got balls, huh? I, I don't understand. It's an idiom. That's because you've got it all twisted, my friend. Ganesh allowed himself to be struck by the axe. That makes no sense. Not to a selfish prick, no. You <laughs> see, Ganesh could have defeated Parashurama easily. But if he had, that would have made Shiva's axe look weak. Powerless. Ganesh sacrificed himself to preserve his father's honor. See, even she gets it, not a drop of Indian blood in her. Magnificent, isn't it? Oh, what? Nothing to say now? Oh, if you like, I can tell you where to stick it. <laughs> well, my friends, I would love to kill you myself, but we must not anger the gods, for you have brought me a great fortune. Okay, then, what are you doing? I'm going to flood the chamber. I will miss you. Come on, is this really necessary? You know, nothing is ever truly destroyed. Only purified and reborn. Just shoot us and get it over with. Right? As the water fills your lungs, you will have time to reflect on the choices that brought you here. Perhaps in your next lives, you will fare better. Prick. I don't know about you guys, but I got a lot of regrets swimming around in my head right now. Tell me about it. I was really looking forward to kicking your ass again. Hey, you know, I'm not exactly thrilled about drowning next to you, either. Could you give it a rest, guys? I'm trying to concentrate. What are you doing? A little preparation goes a long way. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes! the 
buy it. What do you mean? Stoberta Sarf talking about <clears throat> heading to the old rail yard, something about an arms deal. He's selling the tusk. It's all right for preserving his culture. Hey, just a second. Listen, uh, <clears throat> back there. Thanks, Sue. For... Professional courtesy. <laughs> of course. So, are we good? No. I no, figured. If we hurry, we can intercept them before they make the sale. Huh. And there's our ride. These are nice. There. Railroad tracks. Stop here. One piece? Yeah. Go team! Come on. We're exposed up here. Oh, hey, no, 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 the helicopter! Oh. Shit. <laughs> Got it! Get to the door! have you done with my company? Made it profitable, for starters. I think that was a rhetorical question, love. I should have shot you back on that godforsaken island. I wish you had. It would have spared us the sight of watching you turn tail and run. Why would you just hash your shit out on your own time, okay? Uh, Tusk, please. You two. Partners. Either you've got a piss poor memory, or you're even more desperate than I thought. Jeez, I'm just getting it from all sizes, aren't I? Don't know. I'm not the one reduced to hustling weapons to ragtag insurgents. Ah, there it is, eh? There it is. Always thinking too small. You really think I would have traded this in exchange for munitions? I don't give a shit. Hand over the tusk. A horse belt. You're gonna miss the fireworks, man. I won't ask twice. <clears throat> Catch. Gun! Nice shot. Thanks. Pattern's a little wide. You Get could... the hell off me. Yep. All right. Mind if you see that first? Um, hi, a third of that is mine as well. You're splitting Chloe share. Okay. I know you're new to this, but that's not exactly how it works. Consider it a service charge. It's a bomb. What? A Sav traded the tusk for a bomb. Fireworks. Th th this, this is big. Yeah. Those tracks run right through the city. Through the market. So we'll find the nearest town. Notify the authorities. It'll be too late. If that goes off, it'll kill thousands. And 
That is a terrible shame. But we did get what we came for. I... What? You are not seriously going after that train. Okay, fine. Fine, you have a plan? Doesn't seem to be much of a requirement in this organization. Are you really going to let her do this? No, I'm... I mean, she's got a valid point. Shit, I don't know, okay? This is not our fight. You said so yourself. Even if you catch that train, what happens? Disarming the bomb is impossible. You're right. Good. Good, so we'll, we'll call the authorities this and... This isn't our fight. It's my fight. That bomb detonates in the city. It'll spark civil war. I can't walk away. I'm tired of walking away. You'll die. I can live with that. Hey. <clears throat> Save my share of the task, okay? Just in case, right? What? You're not gonna leave me back there with her. Out. No. I call shotgun. Yeah. Fine. I'll sit in the back. Think he'll be all right? Didn't know you cared. Uh, he's got the task. Why, Budge? Let me help. No, oh, this is really heavy. Think about what you're doing. Just do it. Come on! Uh. Any luck? Uh. This one's welded shut too. Must be out of the way. Oh, if you've got any ideas, I'm all ears. The switch! What? Up ahead, the switch hops. If we can get to it, we can divert the train via some time. Good. I mean, she seems pretty capable. Sam. All right, I'm just here. Shit! God damn it! Go! He's in the bank. Okay. That worked. Oh my god, the bridge. Shit! Shit! 
And for what? A city of peasants. Christ, you're insufferable. The blood of the old kings runs through my veins. My people shall rise again. <laughs> nice try. Take your shot. <laughs> Not you, but <laughs> <Destroy> your sword. <laughs> <laughs> This is my land. What could you possibly stand to gain? Oh, it's all about what you have to lose. The bomb. I'll just buy another. I'll burn your city, thief. Your people will beg oh. me to save them. <coughs> Let's finish this. <coughs> Don't fight. One should know when they're conquered. Your time ends now! Now you have a conscience. Gotta get out!
up, Clyde. Please? Jesus! Oh, Sam! All right, climb up, I got you! Oh, my God! Oh, it's all muscle. That's what they all say. Come on, come on, come on. How the hell did you guys get out of that? You know, I'm just still figuring that out myself. And, uh, Asav? Went down with his train. Oh, well, couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yep. We just did a thing. We did. So, what's next for Nadine Ross? Take back Shoreline. Conquer the weapons trade. I'm done with Shoreline. Really? Really? If anything, I was thinking I might give this uh, treasure hunting racket another go. Know of any selfish dickheads who might be in need of a partner? Uh, Not you. Okay. Oh, sorry, I only work with professionals. <laughs> right. And where's the tusk? You go. Oh my god. What? Sam. I'm just joking. There you go. You're. Ow! Okay. Jesus. Well, a cigarette. <laughs> Man, that's a beauty. Yeah. How much, uh, how much do you think that we're gonna get for that baby? Well, surely the Ministry of Culture will give us a, a generous yeah, yeah. finder's fee. <laughs> right? Partner? Elbow. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> you guys are hilarious. <laughs> Ministry of Culture. Oh my god, you're serious. Mm -hmm. I got it. Private collector. Huh? Just hear me out for a second. I, I, I understand taking the moral high ground, and that's great. It really is. I am completely on board for that. But if we could just... Don't ruin the moment. <laughs> <laughs>